A mass grave with unmarked caskets was discovered this week at a cemetery in Tulsa, Oklahoma. That's where investigators are searching for remains of victims of the 1921 Tulsa race massacre. That's when a white mob attacked and killed hundreds of black residents, burning businesses, churches, and homes. And for some, the search is personal. Brenda Alford is the volunteer chairwoman of the Citizens Committee overseeing the search. She's also the granddaughter of massacre survivors and Black Wall Street entrepreneurs. Brenda, thank you so much for joining us tonight. Thank you for having me. Now, we know it's still not known if the remains found actually belong to victims of the massacre. But what was your reaction when you learned that some remains had been found? I was absolutely... Uh speechless at the time. Uh, it was uh, just some very hard work that we've been doing for some months now. And uh, to have that um, uh, situation happen uh, as it did this week was just absolutely mind-blowing, if you will. Uh, but we are just so very, very happy to have uh, had to made some progress this re week in this journey to find the victims of the race massacre. And Brenda, some estimates put the number of victims at over 300. But can you talk about the event itself? It's known people were murdered, but no one was ever held accountable. That's correct. Uh, basically, uh, in 1921, uh, the race massacre did occur. Um, my grandparents, along with other family members and friends, ran for their lives from our beloved Greenwood neighborhood, only to return to find our homes and our businesses looted and burned to the ground. And talk about why that even happened. What, what sparked that? Well, basically, there was a situation at a hotel, the Drexel Hotel, downtown Tulsa, wherein it was said that uh, Dick Rowland uh, basically uh, just kind of stumbled into uh, Sarah Page on an elevator. Uh, she screamed. Uh, that basically uh, uh, brought people from across the street who heard the screams uh, over to the Drexel Hotel, uh, wherein uh, it was thought that uh, Dick Rowland had assaulted uh, Sarah Page. And uh, uh, that's where where it started and it just uh, went on from there. And Dick Rowland was black, Sarah Page was white. Uh, yes. We know that there have been previous efforts to, to do this excavation, but those efforts had stalled. Why was that? <laughs> Yes, uh, there were thought to be anomalies uh, in several places at the Oakland Cemetery, and uh, the the, uh, the specific site that we started uh, doing the test excavations back in July uh, basically did not turn up uh, any uh, graves uh, as uh, they did this time. Uh, so uh, we did uh, take a pause at, in July, and then just uh, the. Uh, decision was made to uh, continue the test excavations and the work at Oakland uh, these past weeks. And Brenda, it really seems like attention is huge for this story this week, even just based on our News Nation online traffic alone. How has media and onlookers' attention this past week really affected you and the team? It's so nice to see people interested in the work that's being done, uh, the work uh, uh, that is being done by the city as a whole to find the truth uh, regarding the victims of the race massacre, to bring some sense of justice and some sense of healing to our community that suffered so greatly during the race massacre. Brenda Alford, we thank you so much for your time tonight. We hope to check back in with you. Thank you so very much for having me.